Armory Disc Golfers, we're putting on a tournament. Dustin, channel debut. Banging 30 footers. Man's been out here all day painting circles. All legit and official McDade Park. Excited about, don't worry about who threw that. Excited about the tournament tomorrow. Hole three is the hardest hole on the course. I'm just trying to go pig off the tee. You can see the, the tee sign. It's 396 and there's tons of woods in the way. So I'm just going pig, trying to go pig, pig, and three and I'll show you my results for the tournament because I'm probably gonna do that after the tournament's all said and done. In round one, I did this, and round two, I did this. Ooh, you suck. Hopefully those are good results. Yes! All right, so this is post-production, Nick, giving you a few insights to the round. So in round one, I went pig-pig, just like I planned, uh, and I actually threw it in from about 150 feet. So that was a stroke that I was never expecting to get. Sort of felt like a field ace in that regard. And then it was the only two in the entire tournament on this hole of any division two rounds like this hole is hard I'm telling you it doesn't I don't think it translates to camera if you've been there you know um, it was the first two of my life on the hole and I managed to do it uh, in our tournament uh, for the first time so that was really cool and then round two my drive went like 50 feet shorter I had like a 45 50 foot jump putt and I missed that and took a four I was totally okay with that averaging a three on the hole for the day Hey, okay. Listen, thanks. Lone Star Discs hosting the thing. Got to throw the brand new curl. That sucker is pretty. Let's see it curl. You're not reaching. That's a smash and a half, man. Great shot. Hole four is also worth checking in on. So this one is 423, 26 feet, something like that. So MPO players <laughs> should probably be able to reach this. But it's one that I've only birdied once or twice in like 20, 30 times playing in McDade. So I just decided that I was going to play it safe and throw this Halo Wraith out wide on a hyzer, spike it into this side hill, and then pitch up and take a three, move on, get birdies elsewhere. And I did that in round one and spiked it to the side of the hill. It rolled down the hill, and again, you can't really see how, how sloped it is on camera, but there's a, there's a hill up there. Um, it almost rolled all the way OB, and in round two, you know, I'm getting peer pressured because I'm seeing guys throwing stinking fairway drivers into circle one, and I was a few strokes back, and I was like, you know what, it's time to, to be a big boy. It was a calm day, so I threw my D2, my 500 D2, You've seen me throw it a couple times on the channel. It's kind of flippy. Threw it on a hyzer just straight at the basket, stood up straight, pushed all the way to 15 feet, tapped in a bird. So I was really happy about that, especially after bogeying uh, hole three uh, just before this in round two. So I felt like I kind of got a stroke back. We're on hole seven, we dayed. Uh, there's always been questions about the Mando here. There's a Mando sign, um, but then there's a tree right behind it. And so there's always question, is it the tree, is it the sign? So, we're going to make the Mando the tree, and we're going to have tape around it. There will be a drop zone next to the tree. Don't want any questions about it. If you make, make the Mando, miss the tree. Like, you almost got Made the Mando. <laughs> what just happened? It almost happened. It almost happened. Having a bum elbow and not being able to throw backhands for two weeks. I now have forehand roller. I parked this whole last weekend. Is it repeatable? We'll find out. Next time on... <laughs> Cut the tape. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yes. 
Get on your back. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yes. That's pretty never good. Throwing another shot of this hole. <laughs> so this is an interesting hole. Hole 14. That's how it shapes. Finishes to the left there. 450. Is it actually 450? It's 450, but it's par four. So it's a par four. So, but it's not very long, so you don't have to bite off a lot. You can just pitch, pitch. We're gonna see a couple different strategies here. I'm going backhand FD. Just getting it in the fairway. It is in the fairway. Beat the crank. It. Beat it. It'll be in a good spot. This is a 380 foot tunnel shot that finishes slightly to the right. And we're doing some tournament prep. We're not trying to birdie a 380 foot tunnel shot, yeah, right. especially as a backhand player. So Marshall is throwing Mr. Trusty. <laughs> You gonna put one disc challenge oh. card up in the right hand corner. It opens up over there, but as long as you're not in the in the right side rough, there's a look. So I mentioned that we weren't trying to birdie this hole, and I said we. I was speaking for Marshall because uh, he was playing in MA2 this tournament, and so we were going through in this practice round and prepping like how should we attack this hole or how should we not attack certain holes, uh, play things smart, and I'm actually. Really proud of him. He did a good job. Shout out to you, Marshall. He played 55 points above his rating for the tournament, largely because of things like this. Because normally when we come here and play, we're all throwing drivers at this thing. Someone will walk out of there with a four or five, whatever. But in tournament play, went Buzz, Buzz, I think. Buzz Luna just pitched up. Um, let's see what he, what he took. He took a three and a three on back-to-back -back rounds on hole 15. I'll actually put up the whole average for intermediate on this uh, up here on the screen to show you just how many strokes that saves compared to the field doing something like this. And while we're here, I just want to mention that in round one, I threw that same 500D2. Apparently that's the disc to, to pick up birdies with. I threw it on a forehand, hyzer flipped to flat, pushed straight, uh, 10 feet, tapped it in. And that was also the only two of the entire MPO field um, I think there was like two or three in, in scattered in different divisions, but the only one in the MPO field for the entire day. So I was happy about picking that one up as well. I'm bringing it home. It's not under stable. The stable crank, cycling them in. We like that. That ends the turn. I that throw, and like I don't think it's very far at all. Oh no, it's great. I think that's great. Well, okay, sure. But it looks like I should have thrown it like 450. It looked 450 in my heart. Oh, that's right. Bang. We are excited about putting this on. Uh, it's going to be done before this video gets posted. Uh, we're going to play in... What time is it? Like 14 hours from now, I think. 13 hours from tea time. Uh, we're gonna play, so I'll have the results posted on the screen after this. Hopefully, I came home with some fat cash, and uh, Marshall back here came home with some discs. John is running it, so shout out to that guy for putting all this on. We're excited about it. There's gonna be more to come. As you're jamming to squat a B, <laughs> I just want to say that I'm happy with the results of this tournament. I wanted to shoot seven seven. I've never shot seven down at McDade before. I think my personal best was five, maybe six. And so getting a seven down in the first round, shooting my second ever thousand plus rated round, more of those to come, uh, that was that was really good with me. And then I fell off the pace a little bit in the second round, but still finishing fourth in an MPO tournament, I don't know um, how much I've recorded this. I've just recently moved to MPO from advanced. Uh, I plan on continuing to track up there, pushing my rating. I want to get to 970 by the end of the year and uh, tracking towards that. So excited about it. Thanks for watching, guys.